Alright, welcome back to another episode of Sakura Sakibus 3. Where we left off, we literally ran into this. <laughs> I just didn't think that this was going to be a thing. Well, uh, apparently we were having a game night. <laughs> I was completely unaware of this. Um, yeah, pretty much this was a thing, I guess. Um, but moving on, let's just get right into it. I don't know either... I don't know if either of you were able to accept any hot beverages just now. I suppose I'll leave them there. You can drink them whenever you finish that little game of yours. I hope your drinks doesn't go cold in the meanwhile. A you, Hafumi, Cosmos, Marina, Hazel, and you all came to this apartment this evening for a party. I think it was Marina's idea. She said she wanted to celebrate our release from the succubus realm and the newest addition to our harem, or to my harem specifically, you. Um, Marina bought us snacks and drinks and a bunch of silly party games to boot. Cosmos and you are busy playing one such game, I think it's called Twisted. Uh, you're supposed to spin the wheel and then place your hand, on, hand or foot on the colored circle of this white board. Uh, a you and Hafumi have been taking it in turns, spin, its spinner, and re then reading out the instructions. Both you and Cosmos look pushed to their limit. Their bodies are contorted in strange ways, and their limbs are all tangled together. At some point, they decided to remove some, remove their clothes, perhaps. They thought their outfits were too cumbersome to play such a precise game. Use casual clothes when she isn't in the succubus realm is certainly cumbersome. I call those clothes her casual clothes, but there's nothing really casual about them. I guess you being a ruler wants to project some sort of image of wherever she goes. Um, even when she's masqueraded as a human, she wants everybody to know how much influence she wields. All right, now let's see. Ayu takes a sip of her drink um, and then sits it on one side and then spinning, spins the spinner. Cosmos, it's your turn. Right foot to yellow. Huh? Yellow? Cosmos, who's pinned beneath you, stares at you with a wide-eyed horror. I can't reach that far. I'll dislocate my leg. Your fans might like that. Then you might be able to take a lot more naughty pictures in complex poses. You might even be able to put your legs behind your head like a circus freak. I don't want to put my legs behind my head and I'm not a freak. Now Cosmos, enough complaining. A you told you to put your right foot on the yellow circle. If you cannot do that, this victory shall be mine, and I shall take the pleasure of kissing Hideki. Huh? Did you make a bet? Maybe we did. You smiles. It's rare to have a chance to leave the Sucker's realm, so I wanted to cut loose and have some fun. You don't mind being used as a bargaining chip, do you, my dear Hideki? I guess not. It's not like it matters too much. This is all fun and games. You might be a bit of a perspective streak. I saw her click her tongue when Hafumi ha handed me a cup of tea, but I think she's trying to curb her jealousy. She's working hard to change. It's impressive, really. Uh, th this isn't fair. Hideki's my boyfriend. I want to kiss him. Then you'll have to beat me at this game, won't you? Now, aren't you supposed to put your right foot on yellow circle? Ugh, this is the worst! I never thought I could compete with Lady You of all people! I used to follow your orders, my lady. I don't want to risk upsetting you, but... I want to kiss Nikki even less. He's mm. my boyfriend, so I'm going to do whatever it takes to win this competition. Wow, she sure is taking this seriously. I wonder which one of them should I root for. As much as I... I would love to kiss you again. I want Cosmos to win, of course. If it isn't, a, if this is a choice between Cosmos and you, then there's no contest. I want Cosmos to win. She's such a cutie. She deserves it. 
Go Cosmos! Here goes nothing. I'm going to give it all my, give it my all. Oh my. I didn't think she would be able to do it. That's quite impressive. Cosmos is pretty flexible, huh? <laughs> I suppose that's not that bad for a whiny brat like her. Well, for the ladies use next commands. A U flicks the spinner. Sorry, I had to get close. Uh, while Hifumi and I watch on, nursing our cups of green tea. Isn't this fun? I'm relieved Lady Yu has finally saw the error of her ways and let us return home. I was beginning to grow worried. <laughs> you can thank me for that. I was the one who convinced her to let us go. Because I had such a smooth summer tongue. There's no better negotiator like a QAU. Did you really negotiate? Or did you kneel to the ground on Yu's feet until you took pity on you? But why you? <laughs> you skills. <laughs> Don't try to act cute with me. You know I did you a huge favor, stupid Hideki. I didn't have to try and reason with my lady, but I did all the same. I did all that because I wanted to help you. If it weren't for me, you would be back at your apartment. You'd still be stuck in the succubus room where the sun never rises. I know, I'm sorry, you. I was only teasing. I set my drink on one side and then rough for the top of her head. Thank you very much, I do. I really do appreciate it. Oof, I want to stroke the use head too. Her head is so soft and silky. Hey, hey, what are you two doing? I'm not a pet, you know. A you knocks Hifumi's hand away and steps back, pouting. You know, you ought to treat me with some respect. Now you sound like Lady Yu. <laughs> Hifumi giggles and cups her cheeks with her palm. Perhaps this is why Lady Yu listens to you. She's, you are quite similar in many respects. Really, though, I never thought you would be able to spend such a peaceful time with Lady Yu. She only been aloof and distant. I fear she would never have been able to make any friends. But it looks like she's getting on. Well, she's getting on rather well with you, Au, and Cosmos too. I hope you can continue to stay like this. It would make me very happy if we could all be friends. Me too. I like you a lot, but I think I like being with all you more, really. Speaking of which, where's Marina and Hazel anyway? They didn't get home already, didn't they? They didn't go home already, did they? Oh no. The Fumi's smiles take a slight pained edge. They're still here. I believe Marina said she wanted to make use of your bedroom. My bedroom? But why? Well, what is she doing? Um, Marina, it was lovely. So lovely to see you today at this party. It's been a while since we last had a proper talk one-to-one, -one, isn't it? Oh yes, it's been a long time. Far too long, in fact. Though, this is not for the lacking of trying on my part. I did try to speak on you while you were in Succubus Realm, and, but you ignored me. Rather than trying to help Hedeki escape, you were perfectly content on following Lady Yu around like a lovesick puppy. I cannot believe you turned your back on Hedeki so easily, you useless bisexual. Hey, Marina, wait. I did want to help Hedeki. Really, I did. It's just, when Lady Yu look at me, I find it impossible to disobey her. Hideki is handsome, but Lady Yu is utterly gorgeous. She has such a nice body. Those eyes of hers. You could drown them. One look from her is enough to make me lose my senses. I get so enthralled that I can't even think straight. I know you can't think straight. That's the part of your problem. I think you need punishing. You've been a very naughty girl. Take this. I mean, if this is how you literally, basically do this, then, okay, fair enough. <laughs> this is a, this has been a, a really, really fun party. <laughs> this has been a really fun party. Oh, why are you squealing? Don't you like this? Uh, it doesn't feel bad, but it kind of hurts too. Aren't you squeezing me a bit too much force? Oh, am I? Am I really? My apologies, Hazel. Doesn't seem like I don't know my own strength. 
I do not wish to harm you, truly I don't, but I am very much would like to teach you a lesson. Uh, a lesson? Mm -hmm. A lesson of not being a coward and turning your back on the man you supposedly love. If you want to remain a member, sorry, if you want to remain a member of Hedeki's harem, then you ought to get down your hands and knees and beg for it. I'm surprised he even lets you into this apartment. He's far too self-hardened for his own good. Well, he might have forgiven you for being utterly worthless, but I won't. Prepare yourself, Hazel. I'm going to discipline you to your absolute limit until you understand how naughty you have been. I'm not going to hold back. No, Marina, wait. I'm sorry. I already said sorry. I didn't mean to abandon, abandon Hideki. It's just... Ah, stop squeezing me so hard if you keep doing that. Uh, <laughs> Let's just say Marina had a bone to pick with Hazel over how little she helped during the time in the Succubus Realm. I think she's quite angry with her for capitulating to Lady Yu so easily. She probably being vented her frustration now on Hazel for quite some time. I believe it would be best to leave them be until Marina has calmed down. Otherwise, you might as walk in on ra something rather intimate. All right, I get the gist, I'll keep that in mind. I have to shake my head. The walls of this apartment are pretty thin, and I think I can hear Marina and Hazel through them. This is kind of awkward. <sighs> okay. Don't get me wrong. There will be times where I have to say this, but Hazel does deserve to be punished in a sense. But I can't help but feel sorry for Hazel because the thing that bothers me to no end is that when you have such a bisexuality, it kind of does fuck with your feelings a lot, especially when you like almost like every gender, including including male and female. You literally like those two specifically, and when that happens, it intertwines a lot. So I kind of feel sorry for her. I just hope Marina doesn't hurt Hazel too much. Hazel might have taken you side against mine, but I don't think she meant any ill by it. She's such a cheery, bubbly girl, I doubt she had any single wicked bone in her body. Rather than being outright malicious, it seems most likely she wasn't thinking about the consequences of her actions. That is so like Hazel. She'd be perfect if she could use that brain of hers a bit more. Well then, shall we have a toast of her newfound freedom? That sounds like a good idea. A.U. picks up her cup of tea and then holds it a foot. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, are we toasting or something? Cosmos, who seemed that had already finished with the game of Twisted, dashed it over to me and licked her arms up. They're mine. You follow suit, adjusting her long, elegant gown as she does so. Taking the other arm, and she's snuggling against me and says, What is a toast? It's where you drink something. It's a sort of celebration. People do it as birthdays, or engagement parties, or weddings. Ah, uh, think about it as a wedding. It's making me feel like excitement. My, my, my. Jeez, trust the Fumi's thoughts to jump straight to marriage. She's so single-minded. What is, what is this about marriage? You squeeze the arm on my own. You aren't going to get married, are you, Hideki? No, I don't have plans to do that. I couldn't anyway. When I love all of you so much, it'd be impossible for me to decide. Oh, Hideki. You smile. It's placent while he whistles. Phew, talk about a nice save. Hideki is awfully suave, isn't he? Of course he is. He's my boyfriend. No, he is my boyfriend. Mine? Hey, calm down, you two. There's enough of me to go around. You do not... You don't need to keep fighting. Give me both of your boyfriends, and I still... And I'm still BAU's cameraman, Hafumi's husband, and Marina's darling, and Hazel's. Well, I'm not sure what I am to Hazel, but. I want to be all. I want to be with all of you, really. Me too. And me. That does sound satisfactory at present, yes. This is really, really corny. It's cool and all, but I'm fine. Let's drink to that then. I drank my fragrant green tea. Smiling as I do. 
for a while I had a few doubts. Now I feel optimistic about the future. It looks like I'm going to have a happy ending after all. Time passes and the party begins to wind down. Hifumi, Marina, and you have a lot of drinks and the three of them have passed out in my bedroom. As for a you, she's busy tending to them. She brushes her hair through Hifumi's tangled hair, pouting it. <gasps> she does so. And you call yourself a mature woman? How in the world did you think you could help Hideki in such a sorry state? You are all so incompetent. If it weren't for me, you'd be still luggishing in the succubus realm. You really can't do a thing without me. It's kind of cute to see a you dotting at the others like this. She might act grumpy, but her heart is full of bursting. It's full to bursting with kindness. She really is a dyed in wool Sundere. <laughs> I wish she'd showed the sweet side of her more often. But I guess AU wouldn't be AU if she wasn't at least 80% prickly. Azel, for her part, is curled up in the corner, her arms wrapped around her knees. Her face is placid, her eyes wide, and she keeps rocking back and forth as she's mumbling things under her breath. She looks like she's coming back from war or that she's being haunted by a ghost. Well, she might be okay. I have some doubts, but I don't get the chance to speak to her. Cosmos approaches me, her arms looped around her back. Smiling gently, she surveys me and says, Hey, Hideki, did you have a good night? Yeah, I did. I return Cosmos' smile with one of my own. It's kind of crazy, though. Everyone, everybody, sorry, everybody cut loose. I'm not sure if Hazel is recovering from, uh, whatever it was Marina did to her. I'm sure she'll be fine. Hazel's like rubber. She bounced back to all adversary, af adversity, excuse me. If she was that delicate, she wouldn't be able to go commando in public. That takes guts. <laughs> Guess you're not wrong there. I pray to the lewd gods on high that she makes a full recovery. I shall pray too. Cosmo claps her hands together and bow her head. Namaru Mida Basu. Uh, Cosmos? That's the sort of thing that you say after somebody's dead? Huh? Hey, you blinks. It is? Yeah. I'm starting to feel like I'm at a funeral. Alright, I'm apologize. <laughs> Would rest in peace be more appropriate? No, I think that's even worse. Oh, I'm sorry. He bows her head. I've lived in the human world for a while, but there's still a whole bunch I need to learn. Your custom remains unclear to me, but I'll do my best to understand them. I think if I stay with you, I should be able to learn a lot. I'm looking forward to our future together, Hideki. Let's make a lot of good memories together. Right, back at you. I ruffle the top of Cosmo's head with my palm. She leans in with my touch purring like a cat. I guess those ears of her aren't just for show. Hey, Hideki. Cosmos blinks at me from the beneath of her eyelashes. It's a bit stuffy in here. Would you mind going for a walk? I think it would be very romantic to go stargazing with you. It's such a nice, clear night. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I don't know much about the stars, but eh, I'd like to stretch my legs, especially with a cute girl like you in my arms. Then let's go! As one takes my hand in her own, her fingers twinning together and then pulls me along. I feel a bit bad about leaving he AU here to deal with the three useless drunks and one shell shocked, potentially mental scarring, scarred war victim, but it'll be a while since I enjoyed any alone time with Cosmos. I think I owe her this much. The two of us exit my apartment. We descend the stairs that fringe the edge of the building and step out onto the street. It's dark outside, save for the flickering street lamps and a few lights on in various apartment windows. It's quiet too. I 
can't hear cars and it's so late all the trains have stopped running it's a cool breeze running through my hair it feels good and it procures for me a soft sigh smiling I turn to cosmos so what do you think it's pretty as the fear isn't it hmm are you not it's nice the stars above look so bright I should take some photos for your fans Nah, for me. I always wanted to remember this day. I'm glad we were able to escape from the succubus realm. And I'm glad I can be with you, Haneke. Cosmos take her phone from her pocket. She points it up at the sky and then begin to take snapshots. I watch her, my hands in my pockets. Cosmos is concentrating hard. Her tongue poking out of her mouth. Her brows furrowed. Her determination is adorable. The star is pretty sure. No, sorry. The stars are pretty sure, but Cosmos shines way more than they do. I can't look away from her. Hey, Hideki. Cosmos turned to me after she'd taken several photos. Can we take a snapshot together, too? Sure. I don't see why not. Uh, how do you want me to stand? Uh, next to me, please. Let's take a couple selfies. You promise you won't post it online? No, I won't. I don't want any. I don't want to cause any problems for you. My fans would be un upset if they figured out we were dating. And to be quite honest, sharing you with my succubus sisters is hard enough for me. I don't want anybody to know about you. Uh, possessive much? I grin. Well, that's fine. Uh, it's nice being wanted. I do want you. I want you more than I ever wanted anybody. That's why I'm going to stay with you. Providing if you still want to stay with me. Of course I do. That should go without saying. <laughs> Good. Cosmos smiles. Okay, look at the camera. I'm going to take our photo now. Say cheese. Cheat. I open my mouth obligingly. This girl had the nerve. <laughs> you <laughs> ain't shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Cosmos, you play too fucking much. Mm? But my words were soon silenced by a soft, warm sensation. Cosmos' body is pressed up against my own, and her lips are overlapped mine. She's kissing me on the mouth, no less. Wait, 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 wait. back up a sec. She says she wanted to take a selfie together, but she never said she was going to kiss me. She's still holding her cell phone in one hand. It's angled down, pointed at her faces, her finger resting on the button. She clicked it once, then twice. How many pictures did she plan on taking like this? Isn't one enough? Jeez, now my heart is racing. This is pretty embarrassing, not to mention unexpected. But I don't hate it. I can never take offense of being kissed by a pretty girl like Cosmos. Mmm. I sigh into a kiss. Enraptured. Cosmos must take this as an affirmation because her kiss gets more and more demanding. She slides her tongue into my mouth, her eyes half lidded, while she continues to take photo after photo. This is starting to get steamy. Does this count as a. Uh, exhibitionism? Cosmos? I guess because her name she finally breaks a kiss. Her lips damp from her saliva. Do you have any fetishes I should know about? Fetishes? Cosmos tips her head on one side. Like what? I mean... Like... Did you get off on taking intimate pictures of us? <laughs> well... Cosmos giggles coyly. I can't deny that I like to look at photos of us together. It makes me feel all warm and tingly. It's a nice feeling. <laughs> I knew it. But even if I'm a lewd girl, my feelings are you. Uh, my feelings for you are pure. I love you, Hinnerky. That's why I'm taking photos of us together. It provides that my feelings for you are real. Do you mind? It'd be nice if you give me some sort of warning next time, but. It's fine, yeah, so as long as you don't show anybody else our private pics. 
I was kind of surprised though. My heart was racing for a mile for a minute. <laughs> if you're not careful, <laughs> you'd give me a heart attack. Oh no. Cosmo's eyes wide to a comic proportions. I'm sorry, Hideki. I, didn't, I don't want to hurt you. It's fine. <laughs> there are worse ways to go. But I'm sure I'll build a resistance to it over time. We're going to stay together, you and me. And I hope I can, make you ha I can keep making you happy. You do, Hideki. Nobody makes me happier than you. I really do love you. And I love you too. Now, this is where I'm going to have to end it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It's been Zed, guys. Later. Bye.